Hello, hello. Um, so it is Monday. It is the official start of a new vlog. Um, it's been a while since I last... Actually, you know what? It's not gonna work. Uh, um, that'll maybe work for right now. Um, it has been a while since I've updated you guys. Um, it just, it's been so hot here and so that's kind of been why I haven't been around a lot I just like it's just been too hot to film honestly um we've had heat indexes of well over 100 degrees for most of the last couple weeks and that just made me not want to do anything except for lie there and try not to die of heat stroke um so yeah so currently I am reading um actually it's so currently I am reading The Anomaly by Michael Rutgers, mm, a little over halfway. And so, um, it's pretty good. The, okay, the story itself is like not bad. It suffers from a lack of editing. Like, as of right now, it's like a three star book. Um, but I'm annotating it and I'm kind of editing it as I go. Um, which is actually like really fun. That's a really fun activity for me, especially because I have started writing again. Um, and so it's really fun to get to read and to really critically examine writing, um, even though it's like just for fun and just for me. Um, that's been a really nice exercise and I can definitely see it like reflected in my writing. And so, yeah, so that's fun. Um, that's kind of it, this week is not the busiest, um, but I have work and internship and teaching, and so yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I just realized that I never like really updated you on like what the plan was for this week. So I will probably finish um, the anomaly tomorrow tonight um and then I think I I think I might start ruined by Amy Tintera um but I don't know for sure um or I might start shatter me um I haven't really decided yet but it'll probably be one of those two and then after that um I will probably uh, I don't know. I'll maybe start Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Novak. And that is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. Um, but I think I have convinced my sister to also read it. Um, and so when I go home in August, hopefully we will be doing a book talk. Um, Nan, I know you watch this, so... It's on the internet, so now you have to do it. Um, and so, yeah. So, I'm hoping to get those three-ish books done this week. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. This lighting is really good. Um, what's up? So, it's been a really long day, but I just wanted to update you guys very quickly. Um, I finished The Anomaly by Michael Rutgers. I gave it three out of five stars. It was weird. It was funky. I... The story was weird. <laughs> it was just, it was weird. <laughs> I don't, I don't have anything else to say about it. I can't articulate anything else about it, honestly. Um, and I started Ruined by Amy Tintera. I am only 12 pages in, maybe. Um, but I'm really liking it so far. It's an interesting premise. Um... So yeah, so we'll see, we'll see. But I just wanted to update you guys super quick. Hello, it is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> what if I just like started like screaming? <laughs> oh God, I love Vine. Um, so I am off work. It is like, it's like three o'clock. 
Um, I'm off work. I'm at home. I just ate the world's biggest salad. Like literally it was so big. Like I, yeah, I made it in a Tupperware thing because like it was so big. Your girl was hungry, okay? Um, and so I finished that and it's really, really nice outside. So I think I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna tan a little bit and read a little bit and it's just gonna be a good day. Um, so yeah, I also went grocery shopping. Um, that's why I had my salad because if I hadn't gone grocery shopping, I would eat pizza rolls again. Um, but like I hadn't been grocery shopping in like a really long time, like at least a week and a half, which I know to a lot of you, you're like, what? Like, that's not a long time. Um, that's a long time for me because like I take the bus to the grocery store and then I bus home and then I have to walk like three or four blocks like with my grocery bags. So I really can only have like max like four grocery bags at a time. And so usually I go to the store like, mm, like twice a week, probably to get like fresh produce and like all that good stuff. And so I haven't been in a long time. And so I literally was just like, I was literally living off of pizza rolls that I bought from the convenience store yesterday. Um, and then oatmeal, <laughs> uh, because I literally just like ran out of all of my food. But I finally like went and like remedied the situation today. So that's good. That's good. I love my shirt. Um, I don't know if you can tell. It has a uh, Chiron on it from Percy Jackson and it is the entirety of Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, like word for word written all over it. And I love it. Um, I think they're called like litographs, but my best friend in the whole world got this for me for Christmas and I love it so much. Um, so it's bookish, it's fun. I thought you guys would like it too. So I wanted to show you, but anyway, um, that's it. I'll update you more on my reading. I'm, I'm like 30 pages in to Ruined by Amy Tintera now. Um, I really like it. It's like, I, like, I feel like it's like another story that I've read, but I don't know which one, <laughs> you know? Like, that's like an issue. Like, I don't know which story it's like that I've read. And so, I just, like, maybe it'll come to me. Maybe I'll be like, oh yeah. <gasps> <laughs> for whatever reason like the main character or the main like male character he reminds me of Cal from the Red Queen series and like I don't really know why and I don't really have a basis for that maybe because his name is like Cass Cass Cal like similar um but like I don't know I'll update you as I keep reading on the similarities of Cass and Cal. It's cool. It's fine. What's up? Um, first of all, like, it's kind of windy, so I don't know how this audio is going to turn out, but it's fine. Um, I am about to go to work. I saw this for about coming out. reading Ruined by Amy Tintera. I gave it like three and a half stars because like it I enjoyed it it was fun but it wasn't like groundbreaking and I didn't like I didn't love it you know but like it was a solid story and like I think I'm gonna continue I wasn't really sure if I was gonna continue until I got to like the last maybe like 20 pages and then it got like really exciting and like I was like ooh ooh I'm interested in where this is gonna go um so yeah so now I am reading it's called Ithaca um I don't know who it's by um but it's all about Telemachus I think that's how you say his name um Odysseus's and Penelope's son from the Odyssey and I mean I'm not loving it but it's interesting I'm only maybe like 20 pages in um so we'll see but I just, it looked good. The cover's really pretty, so I wanted to read it. Um, what else? <gasps> Tomorrow I get to go to a Panic at the Disco concert. I am so excited. They are one of my favorite bands of all time. And 
one of my friends had an extra ticket and so we're going and I'm so excited um I will definitely be inserting footage of that but yeah um so that's my update so yeah see you at the concert I guess hello um I am laying on my floor because that's where I'm reading and it's very hot in my room <laughs> Um, but I am reading Ithaca by, can I read it backwards on my screen? No. By Patrick Dillon. It's bad. <laughs> like, okay. The story itself is like not that bad. But like, if you are obsessed with the Greeks TM, like I am, and then like if you're gonna read this, like there's a lot of factual errors and so like, it's not good. Like, it's not good. Um, but I'm, like, I'm going through it because, like, I am going through withdrawals. Um, but actually, like, it's kind of interesting because, like, this book talks a little- there's a scene where one of the characters is talking about how everybody from- that, like, fought in the war is mad they're crazy and like that's really interesting because I actually just listened to a podcast um Jean Menzies from uh I think it's Jean's Bookish Thoughts I'll link her channel in the description below but she is a classicist she's getting her PhD in classics um she also has a podcast um I'm uh That's Ancient History I think is the name and she had her one of her fellow PhD candidates from her cohort and his project was or his like thesis that he's working on is about uh, combat trauma in ancient Greece particularly in the fifth century and so he looks at a lot of myths from like Ajax and Heracles um, and so I thought that was interesting that, like it, that was a topic that was kind of brought up in this book too um, but yeah not the best We're here, we're at the Panic at the Disco concert. <laughs> this is Hello! Chloe yeah. and Deborah. Hola. Um, we're here, we're standing outside. It's very busy, there's a ton of people. But I'm so excited. I think we just concerned our Uber driver. Um, I, I told to him so in middle school, comments, I was, like, I was in the closet the emo. So, so that's fun. Um, like, I love the girls. Yeah. Are you ready for the scene? Are you ready for the lady? In the garden of evil. 